January 12th was a Tuesday like any other. Then, just before five o'clock, the earth began to shake. In minutes, the lives of millions of Haitians were changed forever. We've worked in Haiti for over four decades. Within 72 hours, our team on the ground had connected with partners. It was complete confusion. There was no way people could talk to each other. But we saw that people were getting drugs. It was a flood of medication coming to the hospital, and I did not know that it was direct relief providing all this. Thanks to the massive generosity of our individual and corporate supporters, Direct Relief has assembled the most comprehensive emergency response in our 62-year history. Yeah, I just want to thank the team at Direct Relief from the bottom of my heart with everything that we have. It, none of this would have been possible without all of you guys. Thousands of people have been disabled and immobilized by injuries and amputations. Prosthetic and orthotic services are desperately needed. The children alone who suffered amputations will need years of care, rehabilitation, and refitting as they outgrow their prosthetic limbs. With 1.3 million people now living in makeshift shelters, hurricane season poses a major health threat. Direct Relief has airlifted eight hurricane preparedness modules to Haiti, where they stand ready to help if a hurricane hits. Still, there are signs of hope amid the devastation. Direct Relief is providing $500,000 in grants to small grassroots organizations who are working tirelessly before the earthquake, but who have since expended all their resources helping their communities recover. And in June, Direct Relief hosted two key representatives of the rebuilding effort in Haiti to share our expertise in managing valuable medical supplies. They face immense challenges in receiving and distributing pharmaceuticals in a country with a splintered health system. Thank you to everyone who has supported Direct Relief's work in Haiti and to those who recognize how much more needs to be done.